but although there's competitors now ramping up, and yeah. as you're familiar with BYD, which is also on the West Coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. <laughs> uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? BYD <laughs> is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? BYD, the biggest EV manufacturer in China with roughly 30% of the country's market share, has undoubtedly played a significant role in electric vehicles' advancements, from manufacturing cell phone batteries to being considered the main rival of Tesla, is without any doubt a serious name once we start talking about EV. So how a company that was initially making batteries become one of the leaders of the EV world, and what does it offer to stand against the best? But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Picture this, a small battery manufacturer founded in 1995, with just 20 employees and an audacious dream. In the blink of an eye, that small start transformed into a force that would reshape entire industry. Riding the wave of the mobile phone boom, BYD swiftly ascended to become China's battery giant, a feat that catapulted them to rank fourth globally within a mere decade. But the story doesn't end there, BYD's saga is marked by bold choices. Expanding into mobile phone components fueled their ascent, and a strategic 2002 acquisition of its Sichuan automotive company marked the inception of BYD Automobile. This metamorphosis, akin to a symphony of innovation, charted a path from batteries to cars, propelling BYD toward a trajectory that continues to redefine possibilities. BYD, alongside JAC and Cherry, was an early electric vehicle pioneer in China. Their debut, the BYD F3DM, emerged in late 2008 as a plug-in hybrid compact sedan. In the subsequent year, BYD launched the E6 all-electric model, a compact MPV designed for fleet appeal. Initially equipped with a 61 kWh LFP battery, it was later upgraded to an 81 kWh battery for enhanced performance. However, despite these strides, BYD's execution fell short. The designs lacked inspiration, and the specs couldn't quite stand out against the competition, unlike the likes of Tesla. The tides shifted with the arrival of Wolfgang Egger, appointed BYD's design director in 2017. As the mastermind behind iconic creations like the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione and the Alfa Romeo 156, great anticipation was stirred. Just three years later, in 2020, the BYD Han EV emerged as the inaugural fruit of Egger's labor, marking a transformative moment. This flagship model signaled BYD's renaissance, reminiscent of Tesla's impact. With cutting-edge battery technology and captivating aesthetics, the Han sedan cast a halo effect across the carmaker's lineup, not only elevating its appeal but also bolstering profit margins due to its premium pricing compared to other models. Along the Han, BYD has other cars in its lineup, the Addo 3, the Tang, the Dolphin and the Seal. The Addo 3 EV features front-wheel drive and a respectable range of 420 km based on the WLTP combined cycle. It accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 7.3 seconds and has a top speed of 160 km per hour. Starting at $46,000, it's made to go against cars like the Hyundai Kona EV, VW ID.4 or Kia Niro EV. The Tang is a seven-seater SUV, it showcases remarkable performance reaching 0 to 100 km per hour in a mere 4.6 seconds. Zooming at a top speed of 180 km per hour, this model promises an exciting drive. Its electric range spans 360 km, making the Tang a balanced blend of performance and efficiency. The Dolphin, starting at 30,000 euros, it offers solid performance and range for its price. The Seal is one of the hottest cars BYD has to offer, it will be a direct rival to the Tesla Model 3 after its release later this year. Built upon BYD's latest vehicle platform, this compact sedan boasts dual engines that collectively churn out an impressive 530 horsepower and a substantial 670 newton meters of torque for the top spec version. Its remarkable range shines, as it covers approximately 650 kilometers on a full charge. Already open for pre-orders in China, 
The SEAL's availability will soon expand to Japan, Australia, and other selected countries. The BYD fleet has other cars such as the E2, E6, Yuan Pro, Chin Plus, Song Plus and Seagull, but those models' availability are limited to some countries. And the list of those countries surely don't include the US, as each time BYD is asked about their plans on getting into the North American market, they respond always by having no plans into getting there in the near future. And I don't believe that they don't want to, it's more of a political issue. But even their presence in the European market isn't by any means near the success they're having in their home country, as you know Europe is home of some of the most established car manufacturers in the world, and even with really competitive pricing and top-edge technology, they're still having trouble to stand out from the crowd. But BYD has other plans to make their cars more appealing, they launched a new sub-brand called Yongwang, created to compete against luxury brands such as Land Rover. This sub-brand has only two models to be released in the coming years, the Yongwang U8 and U9. The Yongwang U8 is a luxury rugged SUV with four motors, which combined deliver an astonishing 1100 horsepower and 1280 newton meters of torque. It promises to deliver an unbelievable 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3 seconds, along with a special floating water mode that allows it to traverse through shallow waters, thanks to its sealed waterproof body. BYD also claims that the four independent motors allow the electronically controlled all-wheel drive system to respond up to 100 times faster than conventional systems. While all this sounds impressive, the most unique feature of the Chinese SUV is the Yisifeng driving technology, also known as the E4 platform. This is what allows the Yangwang U8 to perform feats like a 360-degree tank turn like the Mercedes EQG and the crab walk like a GMC Hummer EV. The Yangwang U9 is more considered as a supercar that promises a 0 to 100 km per hour in under 2 seconds. It also shares the same E4 platform as the U8, meaning it's also powered by four motors, and has the same 1100 horsepower, but way more torque at 1680 newton meters. all that thanks to its newly developed 800V electrical architecture, which is made possible with a high-efficiency SICK inverter. The U9 also comes with active aero systems including a huge spoiler for better driving performance, allowing the car to reach a maximum speed of 250 km per hour. The vehicle is set to be produced late this year and will be available to purchase in mid-2024 alongside the U8. What truly set BYD apart from the rest of the competition is its self-sufficiency, as they're only outsourcing 30% of its parts, which gives them more control of their production and be more cost-effective. It stands as the first automaker to possess comprehensive expertise and proprietary technology for electric vehicles, covering batteries, electric motors, and electronic controls. BYD's impact resonates across the automotive landscape, solidifying its status as an EV industry frontrunner. They're not merely talking about revolutionizing, they're doing it. With aspirations to double overall sales volume this year and claim the title of the world's leading EV producer, BYD's ambitions know no bounds. Chairman Wang Chuan Fu's proclamation of reaching 3 million units this year, with a further aim of 3.6 million, showcases their audacious goals. March 2022 marked a pivotal shift as BYD ceased production of conventional gasoline cars, dedicating their energies exclusively to electric and hybrid vehicles. The resolve sets the stage for a real challenge to Tesla's reign as EV king. BYD is resolute in matching or surpassing Tesla's projected 1.8 million vehicle sales in 2023, targeting 1.75 million passenger EVs in the same span. Despite a first-quarter outcome of 260,000 electric vehicle sales, a remarkable feat, they find themselves compared to Tesla's 420,000 electric car sales during the same period, reflecting Tesla's dominant position in the electric car market. Talking about numbers, let's dissect them. In the first quarter, Tesla's revenue saw a 24% surge, albeit slightly below expectations. However, their gross margin faltered, settling at 19.1%. Furthermore, free cash flow didn't meet projected figures. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has vocalized his priority for heightened production over margins, possibly triggering additional price reductions. Contrastingly, BYD's report paints a different picture. 
Their net profit showcased a staggering 411% growth. Nevertheless, their gross margin dipped slightly to 17.9. These financial insights offer a glimpse into the strategies and directions of these two industry giants. While Tesla is currently on top of the EV throne, BYD's trajectory is noteworthy. From sparking laughter in Elon Musk to earning his acknowledgement as a true rival, their journey has been remarkable since their first attempt with the original E6 in 2009. Curious about how Tesla claimed the EV throne? Click on this video, and thanks for watching.